Hey, Dan's come a long way since he first met us, you know. Yes. He's got a lot to thank me for. How do you work that out? Well, when Dan started out, I remember saying to him, Dan, take my advice. Get rid of that van. I didn't take your advice, though. He had a strict rule never to take your advice. Yes, exactly. And if he had done, he wouldn't be where he is today. Yes, Dan's got a lot to thank me for. Mr. The Van will see you now. Dan! Wait! Mr. The Van doesn't like to take any chances. Paul, do you think Dan was a bit off hand back there? No, he's probably just getting a bit eccentric in his old age, that's all. Happens to all the best tycoons, you know. What do you mean, eccentric? You know, do lally, gaga, round the bend. Aren't you always telling me that you're a tycoon? I am. One of the best. Ah. I wonder what Dan's got lined up for us. Don't know. But you heard what he said. Something fitting for our special talents. Come on, get going. <laughs> Demo experts. That's what he wants us to do. Demonstrate things. Come on. What are you waiting for? Dan said to report here and await further instructions. Ah, yeah. That was before we knew what we had to do. Now we do. It's pointless wasting time, isn't it? Yeah, but what if you're wrong? 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 Paul Chuckle doesn't know the meaning of the word wrong. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, no, it's stuck. Oh, dear. What a shame. Let's go on, then. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All it needs is a chuckle touch. Get out of the way. Stand back there. <laughs> there you are. Told you it'd be no problem. Oh, I wonder what these are. Hey, I don't think you should touch those, Paul. Nonsense. T-N-T. -T. Wonder what that means. T-N-T. TNT. Dynamite! Don't be ridiculous. Dynamite starts with a D. TNT. I know. Dan wants us to demonstrate stuff. It'll be televisions and telephones. Here you are. Hey, to you. No, 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 to you. No, to you. To me, to you. To what you. do you think you're doing? Yeah. You! Give that to me immediately. To you, then. No, 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 no. Just put it down. Drop it, Valley. OK. No, 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 no. Put it down gently. Oh, yes, of course. You must be very careful with these televisions. Televisions? Do you know what's in those crates? Trinitrotoluene. There you are. I told you it wasn't dynamite. High explosive. Oh, dear. I suppose you're the ineffectual layabout Dan the Van sent. We're not ineffectual. I didn't know you knew Dan. I've known Dan the Van since he was a trailer. Really? Small world, isn't it? Yeah, it's funny he's not mentioned us to you, then. Mm, it is, isn't it? Well, what did Dan want us to do, then? He wants you to see to that chimney. Oh, no problem. We can do chimney sweeping, can't we? We've had experience. Not that chimney. That chimney! We're gonna need a long brush. We are. He doesn't want you to sweep it. He wants you to knock it down. What? what? Yes! Completely demolish it! Us? Yes. You know. Three... Two, one, boom! <laughs> Sounds like the ideal job for you two. Oh, we couldn't do that. No. Come on, Barry. You know, it's a bit awkward, this, Barry. We don't want to upset Dan. You're right. He gets a bit ugly when he's angry. He's a bit ugly when he's not. That's true. Still, I'm sure he'll understand when we explain. Yes. Oh. Now, look here, Dan. What would you say if I was to tell you that we weren't going to knock down that chimney? Mind you, I suppose you can see his point of view. We've changed our minds. We'll do it. I'd like to say I'm pleased to have you back. 
Oh, yeah? No. I said I'd like to say I'm pleased to have you back. I didn't say I was pleased to have you back. But, as you're here, I suppose I'll have to make the best of it. But remember, no slacking. <laughs> now, I've got a very important private phone call to make. While I'm doing that, I want you to put the jelly round the bottom of the chimney and set the detonator. Did he say what I thought he just said? He said to put jelly round the bottom of the chimney. That's what I thought he said. I've never heard of that before. Neither have I. Still, he seems to know what he's talking about. Come on. Dan? Yes, it's me. You didn't tell me it was them. Well, yes, I know, but them? Well, I don't know what could possibly go wrong. But mark my words, if they're involved, something will. There we are. All set. <laughs> All set. Jelly. Get it. All set. <laughs> oh, never mind. All we've got to do now is press the detonator and boom! Are you sure? Well, actually, it's not the way I'd do it myself. But Dan did say we've got to do exactly as he said. Well, do you think we should wait until he gets back, then? No, oh, it could be ages yet. It'd be a nice surprise for him. Come on. I'm going home to change my clothes. Don't touch anything. Well, I knew it was a stupid idea. Now we'll do it my way. Now, you see, Barry, imagine this pen is the chimney and this pebble is the chuckmobile. All we've got to do is drive the chuckmobile away and... Hey, hey, easy. Just one question. Yes? How are we going to get the string round the top of the chimney? Hmm. It's rather a long way up. It's a long way down. But if something goes wrong... What could possibly go wrong? You step out into thin air and drop like a stone. It's easy. I've just remembered. I don't like heights. Well, this should be good training for you, then. Have you got everything? You got your own? Yep. Matt. Yep. Sandwiches? Yep. Off you go, then. Oh! Oh, Barry, you've forgotten your parachute. I know. I've just remembered. Here you are. Honestly, you forget your own head if it wasn't screwed on. Bye! <laughs> Barry? Barry? You all right? No, you're all right. Don't worry. He's not very high up. No, but it's very dark. Hang on. I'll get you something. Hey. Oh, dear. Now I'm even more frightened. Oh, a candle. Now, there's a stroke of luck. Barry, I've got you a candle. At least you'll have something to see by now. Thanks, Paul. Now all I've got to do is figure a way to get him out of there. Hmm. Interesting. There! Told you I'd think of something. Now just tie the rope off and we'll get on with it. Just one thing, Paul. How do I get back down? Pardon? I said, how do I get back down? You'll have to speak up. I can't hear you. How do I get back down? No, it's no good. I can't hear a thing you're saying. I said, how do I get back down? Well, it's easy. You throw me the rope and you slide down it. I've seen it on the Royal Tournament. Oh, right. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought I just saw a man rocketing up into the sky, towed by a parachute. Oh, yes, that was Barry. <laughs> I see. That's all right, then. 
Jeronim! What was the name of that Indian again? Jeronim! Whoa! I'm going to change my clothes. He gets through a lot of clothes in a day, doesn't he? Hmm. I know you don't like chimneys, but this is a nice chimney. Can't you let it be? Then I'll be free of them. Now then, Barry, it's going to take a bit of effort to pull that over. You don't say. I do, actually. So we need a lot of momentum. Is that what this is for? You got it. Now, when the needle on this dial reaches the red, you release that lever and zhush, away we go. Sounds straightforward enough. Of course it is. I've planned it. Right, start pedaling. You'll have to go faster than that. That's better. Nearly there. Near me there. Now! I'll call you back, Dan. They've gone! They've gone! They've gone the way and left me alone. 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 They've gone away and left me alone. They've gone away and left me alone. They've gone away and left me alone. Oh, 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 oh,
Now he's gone, we'll get on with the job properly. What's the plan? Well, the plan is you go to the top and start dismantling. I'll start dismantling for the bottom and we'll meet in the middle. Right. <laughs> Do you mind? Is that you, Paul? Yes. Well, what did you say? I said, do you mind? You're going to cause me serious injury there. Ooh. Be more careful next time. Paul, what? how did you get up here? We well, used the rope. Give me the ropes on the outside. Yeah, it is, um... It is? It is, um... It is! Is it? Yes. Oh, dear. I told you. What are they doing now? Get down from there this minute! I wish you wouldn't do that. Yeah. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, Dan! Hello, Dan! Oh, really? Oh. Sorry about that, Dan. Yes? Oh, right. I'll tell him. Oh, fabulous. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be great. One press of the plunger and boom! <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this. <laughs> Please, to me, to me. <laughs> Come to see how the experts do it, eh? Well, nothing can go wrong this time, cos I've done it all myself. Yes, but if I was yeah, you, I... And in a few moments, the whole chimney will go boom! <laughs> hey, just a minute there, because... Later. Later. Five, four, three, two, one, zero! I don't know if this is the right time to tell you, but Dan phoned. Yes? And he said you can leave the chimney standing where it is. Dan <laughs> <laughs> employs some funny people, doesn't he?